There's a middleman making us pay more for our prescription drugs. Healthcare providers have been sounding that alarm for years. Pharmacy benefit managers, they negotiate prices with drug manufacturers and pharmacies. They can influence what drugs are covered by insurance, the amount of our copays, and where we can buy our medications. New at four, John Chapman reports healthcare providers and pharmacies want more transparency with PBMs, and they will go to the Nebraska legislature to make their case. Pharmacy benefit managers, or PBMs, were created decades ago to process claims for insurance companies and save money for consumers. But the owner of Cole's Pharmacy, David Cole, says PBMs may have started with good intentions, but things have changed over the years. Let's say that you have a 10% copay, and the drug's $1,000, so you had to pay $100. But if those uh, companies weren't making the manufacturer increase their price by 40%, then the price of the drug would be $600 and you'd only be paying $60. Cole says three companies basically control close to 80% of the prescription medicine market. The PBMs negotiate with drug manufacturers and insurance companies and determine the price the pharmacies will be reimbursed for the medicine they provide to their customers. Jeff Kilborn owns Elmwood Pharmacy. He tells us that plan isn't working. The last report I ran, I think it's 20% of our prescriptions that we fill, we get reimbursed less than what we paid for the product. And so that's just the product. That doesn't cover the overhead, that doesn't keep the lights on, that doesn't pay insurance. We're competing against the same people that are paying us. And so, it, so when you try to negotiate a contract saying, well, this isn't a fair amount, Pharmacists and health care providers will go to Nebraska lawmakers and ask for state regulations to ensure we are not paying more for the medicine we need and to help health care providers to better negotiate with PBMs. The PBMs, those three big PBMs obviously have the largest amount of lobbying effort, the most dollars that they put into it. We're, we're tiny compared to them, it's David and Goliath. Cole says there are other states that have passed laws to make PBMs more transparent and provide more guidelines for the way they operate. Nebraska's a little further behind than some of the other states, but yeah, we need to catch up. On your side in Omaha, I'm John Chapman, 6 News. The Banking and Commerce and Insurance Committee will discuss making changes for PBMs on February 27th.